Mary J. Blige, John Legend, Tina Turner, Maria Schreiber, Alicia Keys, Diana Ross, and more. Oprah Winfrey's Legends Ball. Hello, everyone. I'm standing on my front lawn where, a little over a year ago, I was inspired to create a celebration honoring women who, through their talent, their courage, their tenacity, opened doors and allowed an entire generation to walk through. I wanted to thank them for paving the way for me, as well as countless others. The three-day, once-in-a-lifetime event began with an unforgettable luncheon, then a glamorous white tie gala, and finally, a heart-bursting Sunday brunch. This is the story of my Legends Ball. This all started because I forgot to invite Cicely Tyson to my birthday party. I would rather he fought on that street corner and died. Claudia! Yes, died! You got your low-life job, Mr. Sheriff. You got the strength God gave us women to survive. I said, you know what? I am going to invite Cicely Tyson up for lunch because I just want her to know how much she's meant to me and I want her to know how much regard and respect I have for her. That was how it started. And then I saw Ruby Dee. I'll work 20 hours a day in all the kitchens in Chicago. I'll strap my baby on my back if I have to. Don't stare at me. The evil eye doesn't work on me. You don't even know what harm is, girl. And I said, ah, I did not invite Ruby D. I should have Cicely Tyson and Ruby D at the same luncheon. And I started thinking about other women who also had been an influence. And before you knew it, I had a list of 25 women who had opened doors in entertainment, in arts, in civil rights, and paved a way for me. And I call those women legends. My list of legends included superstar Miss Diana Ross, 12 Grammy nominations, 18 number one hits, and Golden Globe winning actress she is. Diane Carroll, the first black woman to star in her own television series. Has Mr. Colton told you? Tell me what. I'm colored. What color are you? I'm a Negro. Seven-time Grammy winner, the powerhouse Miss Tina Turner. Naomi Sims, she was the first black model featured on the cover of a national magazine. Author, playwright, and Pulitzer Prize-nominated poet, Maya Angelou. History despite its wrenching pain, cannot be unlived. But if faced with courage, need not be lived again. The first African-American opera star, Leontine Price. And Coretta Scott King, who spent her life in service and used her voice for human rights. Let us dare to dream of a peace that humanity has never known. What the world? These women made such an impact on the world. They broke through barriers of segregation and created a bridge to my life and many others. I decided that instead of lunch, I would invite them to a three-day celebration in their honor, a labor of love that would take a year to plan. So I started talking about this idea with my best friend Gail, of course. And what we wanted it to be was an event like nothing anyone had ever experienced. Then I called Colin Cowie. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. There's Colin. How are you, my dear? Because if you're going to have a big party, who do you call? You call Colin Cowie. Details, details, details. Oprah's mantra is love is in the details. And I completely, completely agree. One of the things I wanted to discuss was uh, gifts in the room. There were conference calls every evening on a Tuesday. And as we got closer and closer to May, we'd be speaking four or five times a day. So champagne or not champagne? Let's give the candle, the welcome note, a bottle of champagne and flowers to all the legends. To join me in honoring these legends, I invited some of today's brightest young African-American artists. Halle Berry, Alicia Keys, Mariah Carey, Janet Jackson, Iman, Tyra Banks, Ashanti, Mary J. Blige, Angela Bassett, to name a few. I call them youngins because they too followed in the footsteps of all of these trailblazing women. It all started with a beautiful invitation. Oh my gosh. 
It was huge. It was like a book. I sent 60 handmade invitations to the legends and youngins. And I'm looking at this invitation, and I'm just astonished by the beauty of it. Every little detail was fabulous. Even the color was unusual. Oh my goodness, this is fabulous. The first event of the Legends weekend would be a private luncheon at my home. Gail, this is the floor plan. How many people is this, Colin? 64. Eight weeks to go, Gail and I met with Colin to finalize the details. I thought that's what you meant. No. Oh, that's nice fantastic. Touch. It takes really us from drab to fab. Drab, drab to fab. <laughs> Love is in the details. So you can have a choice of three different napkin rings. You tell me what you like. They're all nice. This is, these kinds of decisions make me nuts. It's in every napkin, it's in every flower, it's in every recipe, it's in every single aspect of the event. I love the pretty little box with the moss. And then we do this one, you're filled with the roses. You know what really makes this? Is the different shapes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's something interesting to look at everywhere. Yeah, that's wonderful. Did you find a biscuit, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I saw those go in the oven. <laughs> We're in the kitchen preparing what we think the luncheon food is going to be. And it's pounded chicken breast dipped in buttermilk. Yes, ma'am, it's dipped in buttermilk. And then it's uh, pistachios. Normally, we do hazelnuts. Our whole theme for the tent's going to be green. So we want the food to match the tent, to match the tablecloth, to match the whatever. And we have my garden, fresh garden pea soup. And why is that? Because it's green. It's green. And, you... and so my attention to the detail was because, not just because I want to have a nice party, but because I wanted the women to feel the love. Here we go. It had taken a year of meticulous planning. Now we're just 24 hours to go. We were scrambling to complete the final touches. This makes better sense to me. This I can yeah. see. On the front line of my home, acclaimed photographer Kwaku Alston was preparing for a once-in-a-lifetime portrait to be taken of the legends and youngins. OK, Janet Jackson and Mariah Carey next to each other. Hey, I got a trolley. Talk about love is in the details. She had a special trolley made because her house is way up there and the picture was way down there, so that would have been a very long walk in high heels. And she said, you know what would be fun? Let's get a trolley. We need to get this dusted, huh? In my backyard, Colin and team were setting the stage for the Legends Luncheon. Creating the gazebo for Friday's luncheon was no easy feat. What's with this linen? We used this gorgeous apple green silk tablecloth covered with this embroidered wonderful organza overlay with these gorgeous apple green handmade plates all perfectly rimmed in platinum. Could you find my glass of champagne? The secret is to have a glass of champagne two minutes, ten minutes before your guests arrive. It's come things down. That's the door. There were butlers standing at the front door with wonderful trays of fine champagne waiting for the first guest to come. Oh! It's been a year in the making, a year in the making. She looked stunningly gorgeous and just a little bit anxious, as any hostess would be after planning a party for a year. Although this was a great, lavish, fun party, it wasn't about the party. We all knew that it was about creating a living celebration of praise and glory and honor to these women. And every single moment Every single thing I did was based on offering to these women a thank you like they'd never seen or heard before. Next, the legends and youngins arrive. I said thank you. They saved my life. 